Hello, and welcome to another video from the Fisherman's Net and Saints Peter and Paul in Naperville, Illinois. In this series of videos, we've begun looking at the sacramental economy, or God's work on our behalf for our salvation through the sacraments. And we started in the first video with a definition of a sacrament. And we said that a sacrament is an efficacious outward sign instituted by Christ that gives grace. And so we want to start looking at that definition, and today we'll start with the idea that sacraments are outward signs. Now we'll get to the idea that they're efficacious outward signs in a future video, but let's look first at this, the idea that sacraments all contain some sort of outward sign. And we as Catholics are familiar with this, that the sacraments all have some part of them that appeals to our five senses. So things that are out there in the world, the sacraments are comprised of things like bread and wine and water and oil and the laying on of hands and words, things that we can hear and see and, and even taste, outward signs. But we have to ask, when it comes to sacraments as outward signs, signs of what? What are the sacraments signs of? Of. And we can look at this in three ways, or in three parts. That the sacraments are all signs of a reality that's past, present, and future. So let's start with sacraments as a sign of a present reality. What are sacraments a sign of? What do these outward things point to here and now? And we can say that the sacraments here and now are signs of God giving his grace. That the sacraments are a sign, an outward sign to us that God is here and now encountering us and giving us a share in his divine life, uh, a share in his very own self, uh, giving us in each of the sacraments a sacramental grace, a particular gift from God that is uh, particular to that sacrament. So here and now, in the present, in the reception of the sacraments, they signify God's grace or the gift of his life operative and working in us here and now. Well, if we ask then, if we move to the past, what are sacraments a sign of in the past? We would say that sacraments are a sign of the cause of grace. Well, what's the cause of all grace? That's Christ's Paschal mystery. So we'll take that word for a moment, Paschal mystery. Whenever we hear the term Paschal mystery, it's kind of shorthand for the suffering, death, resurrection, and ascension of Christ. So the Paschal mystery is the suffering, death, resurrection, and ascension of Christ. Kind of those central aspects of Christ's life that saved us. And so the sacraments are a sign to us of that Paschal mystery, that past event. Um, we actually will say that the sacraments, the primary thing that the sacraments celebrate is Christ's Paschal mystery. We'll see in a little bit that it's not simply a sign or a remembrance of something in the past, but when we add that word efficacious, it's not a mere sign, but makes that reality present and operative here and now. But for now, we can say that the sacraments are definitely signs. They point to that past reality of Christ's Paschal mystery. In fact, uh, St. Pope Leo the Great said that what was once visible in our Savior has now passed over into his mysteries. Right. So what Pope St. Leo the Great was saying was what was visible in Christ 2,000 years ago, when he walked around on earth in sandals in Palestine, what was visible in him then, today, is made present in his mysteries, which in the parlance of the church also means the sacraments. Uh, the sacraments are often referred to as the mysteries. So sometimes when I'm teaching uh, smaller kids, I'll, I'll uh, do this exercise where I'll say, uh, tell me something that Jesus did for people when he walked around 2,000 years ago. And they'll say something like, well, he healed people. And I'll say, well, how does the church continue to heal people today sacramentally? Well, we have the sacraments of healing. We have confession, 
We have anointing of the sick. What's something else Christ did for people 2,000 years ago? He fed people. Today, sacramentally, that's passed over into the Eucharist, where Christ continues to nourish his people. So the sacraments are signs of Christ's ministry active now. There are signs of his paschal mystery, which is the cause of grace in us now. What about the future? What are sacraments a sign of as far as a future reality goes? Well, that would be the effect of grace. What's the effect of grace operative in us? That would be glory in heaven. So sacraments are not only a sign of the cause of grace, Christ's paschal mystery, they're not only a sign of grace operative in us here and now, God encountering us and giving the gift of his life, they're also a sign and a foretaste of the effect of that grace. They're a foretaste of heavenly glory, a foretaste of being in union with Christ and with the Trinity. Now, we'll talk in the next video about how these are not just mere signs, they're efficacious signs. So a mere sign simply reminds us of something or points to something. With all three of these realities, past, present, and future, one of the amazing things about sacraments, and in fact one of the key things about sacraments, is that thing, these are not mere signs. These realities do not remain separate from the signs, but the signs are efficacious and bring about those realities, past, present, and future. So stay tuned for that.